everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a get ready with me video. Yes, Style sent me makeup and I'm going to be trying them today. I've been trying different types of makeup techniques, I guess. So I will also be sharing that with you today. I was sent a comfort fit brush tool, the BB cream morning ceramide by Hymish. An eyebrow pencil by Cara Diem and a blush by Clavu. We're gonna start off with Hymush's BB cream. This is in the shade 25 N medium. It's supposed to create an even skin tone, boost hydration, and retain moisture. It has an SPF of 30. Quite similar to Too Cool for School's Art Class. Fixing cover cushion in this shade number three beige. Recently, I've been into using a spatula to apply makeup, so I'm just gonna put some on my hand and apply this onto my face. This is not the popular Picasso spatula. It's actually a cheaper spatula. I actually recommended this, so I bought it and it actually works just great. It applies very light on your skin. I have really bad allergies right now, so my nose is super red. So far, it looks like it's a pretty good match for my skin tone. I have a very sheer layer and I do have some blemishes here that I'm trying to heal. I have combination skin, but the Hymish BB cream does seem to be more for oily skin tones. I'm gonna go in with this now. I'm gonna use both of these brushes but let's go in with this one first. It's very easy to use. Just put it in and then you twist it. I have it upside down. But just follow the shape. Three batteries included. This is level one, level two, and level three. And with an extra layer, supposed to do generally otherwise you have like this little indent where the brush is at the level two is actually a little bit more gentle i one side applied on the brush is a little bit tricky you have to be very gentle almost like you're tapping your skin otherwise you can see the brush outline it does a pretty good job of filling in your pores around the corner of the nose it's a little bit more tricky because the brush is quite big and it's going to leave a little bit of a brush imprint the brush is very soft however okay i'm gonna go ahead and try it with the sponge this time according to the instructions you're supposed to apply it on the sponge but i've seen their videos you can apply it on your face as well i'm just gonna go and blend that in Definitely less vibration. I think I'm more comfortable patting it down because it's a puff. If you're not really sure how to use a spatula, I'm actually going to put it on this side so you want the product here. And I'm just going to scoop it on the edge here. Just like that. Down. Going down and then create a layer. The sponge, it does fill in your pores better. It looks more smooth. For the brush side, it looks a little bit blotchy. Again, it doesn't really fill in the corners, like your nose area, pretty well. I'm just gonna blend this out. As for the BB cream, it definitely does even on my skin tone. However, you can still see some of my blemishes. It didn't really hide much of my dark circles. I would say it has medium to about 70% of coverage. You will have to apply concealer. It's quite creamy, feels a little bit thick as well. This does help with oil control, so it does have a semi-matte finish. It does seem to have a little bit of a pink undertone. My skin is a little bit more neutral. It doesn't look too bad, however. Before I move on, I'm gonna go with concealer. I'm using the S Last Concealer. Just gonna cover, oops, not too much. Just gonna cover. For Bios Concealer, it does have a pretty good coverage. Very light to weight as well and creamy. For the BB cream, it doesn't look cakey, but it does transfer quite easily. So this is the Caradium Flat Eyebrow Pencil in the shade number 4, Grey Brown. It has this oval shape and it's kind of angled. I have black hair now, but I don't want my eyebrows to be so dark, so I do like this color. It creates a very soft look. It does create pretty decent lines. To add some shadows to my face, but I'm gonna be using Bia's last blush in number seven, Almond Blossom. This is actually a blush, but they have these colors, this type of color like number seven, where you can use as um, contour. Really soft, neutral brown. Blends in well with the BB cream. Just 
coverage. And then we have blush. This is Clavu's Urban Pearlization Natural Powder Blusher in number four Angora Pink. It's sort of this baby pink color. New Jeans has been setting a lot of trends, and one of them is their makeup, which is the blush is under the eye or around the cheekbone area. I'm just gonna create a similar look. If I can get this blush on. Very light baby pink, you can barely see it. Just gonna add some under the eye inwards and just fluff it out. It's a very soft pink, it's not overdoing it. It's perfect for the new jeans makeup look. I'm gonna do my lips first and then my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Into House Fixing Tint and number four, Ginger Milk Tea. I like to overline just a little bit on my cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna go in with Into House's Glow Fixing Tint in the shade number one, Pure Coral. Use this as a gloss and create that gloss finish. Recently I've been into this new lip type of look. I'm just gonna go with highlighter and apply it right on my cupid's bow. Just follow the shape of my lips. And then I'm going to add it under my lips as well. Sometimes I do apply it in the middle of my lips. Here. I also apply it here as well. I usually like to go in with a single eyelid color. I'm using 3CE's Liquid Primer Eyeshadow. This is in the shade the most. It comes like this. Just apply it on my eyelid and blend with my fingers that's a little bit of a shadow but not too much okay next i'll do eyeliner this is sister Anne's double effect waterproof eye pencil just gonna tight line my eyes really quick okay i'm gonna go in with a dark brown eyeshadow i actually use eyeshadow for my eyeliner but i'm just gonna create a little wing at the end using an angled brush just blend it very very slightly Using Edge House's Curl Fix as a base. Kind of set your lashes for the direction that you want it to go. Last but not least, I'm going to use the Kiss Me Hair and Make a Volume and Curl Mascara. So, this is the finished look. I'll also powder under my eyes. Um, so that my eyeliner doesn't smudge. So far the baby cream doesn't look too bad. It blends in with the rest of my makeup. Again, there's no cakeness. It does feel a little bit heavy, a little bit um, tightening because it is more for oily skin. Over the eyebrow was pretty good, very soft. The blush was quite light, but gives a very soft and natural look. As for this, I think I prefer the puff better. It blends better. It's a little bit more soft on the eyelids and on the skin as well. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.